This season has been a long learning experience for Zebra as they try to get used to competing against some of Europe's top sides in the Pro 12. And although the Italians went into this game without a win during the campaign, they have come close on quite a few occasions. Munster fielded a much-changed side from that defeated in the Heineken Cup semi-final and without an away win since the turn of the year. Daniel Halangahu opened the scoring for the home side with a penalty as early as the second minute. But Munster were quick to reply and it was a spectacular score from deep which was rounded off by a strong run from winger Johnny Murphy who got the ball down for a really well worked try. Lovely rugby in lovely conditions and a splendid try for Murphy. Ian Keatley converted to put the visitors seven points to three ahead. But Zebra knew they had a chance to win this game and just before the quarter hour mark the Connacht bound winger Sinotti Sinotti dived over for the home side's first try of the night. The referee Andrew McMenemy asked for the assistance of the TMO who confirmed that the try was good and Zebra were back ahead. Alan Gahu missed the conversion but Zebra led eight points to seven. That lead was short-lived as the game swung one way and then the other. Monsters pack put the Zebra rearguard under pressure and Paddy Butler managed to get over the line for the deserved try. The big number eight had scored in Monsters' previous Pro 12 game against Dragons and this was his second try in a row and of the season. Keatley converted to give the visitors a 14-8 lead. But Zebra continued to press. And first Halen Gahu and then Gonzalo Garcia notched penalties to level the match at 14 all. And the Italians went in at half time with a lead when international Giovan Battista Venditti got over in the corner for their second try of the night in the 36th minute. A good score for the winger, but Halen Gahu failed with his conversion attempt. It still left Zebre 19 14 ahead. And there was still time for Garcia to fire over another penalty before the break to give Zebre a 22-14 half-time lead. Into the second half, the kickers took centre stage. Two Keatley penalties drew Munster to within two points before Halen Gahu kicked a penalty for the home side to make it 25-20 with 20 minutes of the game remaining. In the 63rd minute, BJ Botha replaced John Ryan and the prop from Durban made an immediate impact. He was alert and well positioned to get over for his first try of the season within two minutes of coming on. It was a heartbreaker for the Italians. Keatley added the conversion and suddenly it was Munster ahead 27-25. The home side had one chance to nick the win seven minutes from time, but Halen Gahu's penalty drifted wide, and with it, the chance to win for the first time this season. As the full-time whistle blew, Zebre had to settle for another losing bonus point, while Munster finished the campaign with an away win, and perhaps thoughts of what might have been had Paul O'Connell been fit earlier in the campaign. Final score, Zebre 25. Monster 27.